tonight, but I did. What a ride, I'll tell you, coming from Jersey. I'm up, yeah, up in Jersey. I'm up in Ramsey. Well, I'm down in uh, Lincoln Park and Tolaco. Okay, I know exactly where that is. That's that's not so far. We're almost, we're uh, neighbors, county neighbors, I guess you'd call us, you know. Almost. I don't travel anymore. <laughs> I, I don't blame you. I'm, I think I'm going to take that route myself. You know, Dave. What would you like, I'm, Dave? What would you like to share about uh, the Rascals or Joey D or the Starlighters or uh, some uh, experience that you think uh, would be interesting this evening on a on a holiday show? Well, we're very lucky to have uh, an actress, Merle Oberon, come in. Serge Oblinsky, he was the last of the Russian nobility. And as soon as Charlie Nickelbacker heard about that, he wrote it up in the, in the, it was the Sunday news at the time, and it was cops on horses the next day. The place was loaded. Yeah, well, uh, it's uh, definitely a... Uh an experience, and, and of course, you have a lot of history to share with us tonight. Is um, about the Joey D and the Starlighters. Um, is there a, a, a particular a moment or a moment in history that you could uh, relate to us tonight that would be uh, of significance here? Yes, we were very lucky to record live at the Pepperman Lounge, which led to a, a great series of events Did they? And what year was that? 1963. What do you think, Tom? You'd like to <coughs> comment a little uh, about uh, back in 1963, the the importance of, well, you had of to, the history? You have to keep in mind, by 1963, I was already a has-been. <laughs> uh, but I've, I've made it, hit, hit, I'm 78 now, and here we are in 2017. And, you know, like, we, we weren't one-hit wonders because we had Short Shorts, Big Name Button, Believe Me, Hobby's Got a Girlfriend. We had a few hits, but I, like I was saying, who you're talking about, that fellow Dave Brigatti, my God, that, you're talking real talent there. Genius. And all of the oh, records and, and of the rascals. And it came out of them so natural. That's what I loved about that. You know, I agree. 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 I the sound was the 60s, you know. I, I've always had a thought, and I said, I, you know, I'm a drummer, and I could never read music, but yet I played in big bands. If I heard the arrangement once, I had it. But the thing was, when you learn too much, uh, and you, when people teach you too much, it takes away a little bit of your originality. Uh, because you don't know what you can't do, you know. They, you, you, they sort of fence you in. But being that we didn't know too much, we did okay. Yeah. <laughs> but you well, sure? You must have known a lot. Well, it was a God-given gift that you had. And I thought everybody could sing, and everybody could play, but that is not true. I, I, I kind of agree with you, you know. I, I found sure. that out with painting and writing books and things, you know. It's kind of like effortless for me to do that. And yet, if you say, are you a writer? I'll say no. And are you a painter? No. But yet, people like the paintings and stuff, so. Because your aspirations are way much higher than what you think, or what you give credit for yourself. But you have to give that credit, because the rest of the world acknowledges that. Hey, Dave, I want to ask you a quick question. This is Teddy again. The, the song from the Rascals from 1967, How Can I Be Sure? Um, there's a, a lot of history, obviously, with that song, and of course you're on it. So what, what is the most important uh, memory that you'd like to share with us about that particular moment or that particular song? Well, my bro I, I used to pick my brother up on East 79th Street. I, I lived in Jersey, and I used to pick him up at Pepperman Lounge. And when he came in, Never gave him enough time to write. We had a 26-piece orchestra waiting, 
So I told him, go take a shower. He broke a pencil, threw it in the corner, picked up the pencil, I taped it together, and in 45 minutes I put together, how can I be sure? And we went to the studio, and Eddie nailed it. He's a beautiful singer, you know? And the rest of the rascals didn't acknowledge it. And, and by the way, the same day, uh, Felix sang A Girl Like You. So Eddie did do his homework, except he didn't have enough time. No. Well, listen, why don't we play that song right now at WPAT? When we come back, Mr. Tom Lawson. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 In a world 